Sorry about that, guys. We don't know what happened. Fiji, I think this is the OBS program that we use to uh, stream in different locations. It could be the internet, the bitch. But put put it back on on YouTube so I can see the comments. Live already? Yeah. I'm just sitting here eating like a pig. Uh, Josh, what are you guys eating? Salads, man. I convinced KFJ to get salad. Those look pretty good, too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. We're going to lower the bit rate. Okay. If he does it. Is it Jesus again? Are you moving? No. Okay. We'll see if this does it better. All right. But it's delayed on there. It's always a delay. I guess because of the internet. No, it's really delayed. Look. All right, we're back. Paul S., where did you guys get the fiberglass ponds from? Actually, we have a company here in Long Island that is helping us put it together. They're doing a great great job putting it together. So if you're looking for a fiberglass pond, feel free to reach out, and I'll uh, send you, you their information. Rambo said we need better internet connection. Don't we have like a thousand something? Yeah, we have. So maybe something with the service right now. It's slow today. Colton Raw said he got my Phantom red tail for me today. He has a black spot on his head. I love the look. That's, what's the chance of you getting in more spotted Phantoms? Thanks for the great fish. You're welcome. Um, I might have seen one more in the group. Like so I was doing the water changes today, and I might have seen one. Cody Miller, yo, what's good? Missed the last two lives. The good thing is the salad right here in front of us. It's pretty good. Uh, we're going to China next week. And um, when we come back, the big tank is most likely going to be ready. When we get back, a lot of things are going to be going on. Because after the trip, you know, we're lining up a lot of stuff there. Looking for fish, looking for, you know, suppliers, um, certain things for building out the facility. And it's all going to happen all at once because when we're there, we're going to be making all the orders and we're going to have to try to line it all up and coordinate the receiving of it. And like you said, the tank's going to be ready. Um, already fish shipments that need to come in have already been pushed back for the two weeks. So when we come back, a lot of there's fish already there. fish lined up to come up. So it's going to be really crazy when we get back. What's coming in from Brazil, Fei Jay, Sanjay is asking. You got to watch the video, man. Hey, wait, we can't spoil it ah, and give it all It's going to be cool now. stuff. It's always cool stuff. <laughs> Roberto Vara. Rod, Ryan is a natural in front of the camera. He loves it. <laughs> you know, it's funny. We were, we were at home. I never really watched the videos. Um, we never have time. But I put it on for him, and he loved it. He was, like, laughing. The, the part where he kept putting the newspaper on my face, he was laughing to the point almost tears are coming out. Jamie, we have one Fenton that has a spot on his face. I call her Marlene Monroe. Jamie, we got to find her. It costs more. Paul asks, when is the store going to open? Uh, we're hoping for the, the fight will be open. And um, the day after is going to be my birthday. We should open on my birthday. Huh? I just do something here. Hope I'm hoping by... June. So before the fight, we're going to be open. 
Jordan Fowski need more power tomorrow. I know they're not that hard. They're not that easy to come by. Um, I think Colombia has a ban on them, and um, Brazil can only get bigger ones, and they're very hard to ship. Uh, Rob Erico says, "Do I order the lapidate normally through the site?" Mm-hmm. Yes, it's up already. I believe so. Yeah. Cody Miller, Rod and Kevin, if you haven't seen the video of the Pie Ball Blue Catfish, check it out on Discord, bro. Or check us out on TTK. We started a channel called KCM Aquatics. Give us a shout out if you can. KCM Aquatics, shout out to you, brother. If you guys want to see some cool fish, apparently they have it there. Go watch it. Um, I didn't see the blue pie ball. We did. I had, I had actually... A fisherman that caught one, and they offered it to us, but eventually passed away before they could ship. Monster Fish Kid. Hey, Rod, when do you think you'll be getting some more of the Pangasius Red Tail Hybrid? Man. Not so easy to do. You know, when they were I'm available. so pissed that I didn't keep some for myself. Yeah. It's one of those times when it's available and you don't get it. It's gone. But... Do you think while we're there, we can look into it? That's, we're going to try. All right, so that's, yep. that's one of the goals that we have. Aquarium Talk TV. Who's Kevin fighting? I'm fighting this bowl of salad right now. <laughs> I don't want to eat you. Uh, you need to, Kyle Brown, you need to get more gopher catfish in. I agree. They weren't available this last time, right? Um... I don't remember. I don't think I ordered this the second time around. Three screwed up. Colton said, do you ever see a red albino red tail catfish in a hobby? No. Never seen one. But I, we do have an albino tiger shop and nose, so I wouldn't be surprised if one day a red tail will pop up. It's going to pop up sooner than you think. Yeah? Mm -hmm. See, if AJ might know something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't tell Rod because he can't hold his his lips and he'll just tell everybody. So I got to not tell him. Shane Prutter, keep being the best in the world. Oh, man, thank you. So we love. were legends last week and now we're best we're in the, the best world this week. They, these guys are putting us out there, man. They're, they're butting you up for something. They're going to ask you for something soon. <laughs> Rambo, do you send merch to Australia? Yes. Merch we can send worldwide. Fish is a different story. Because for fish, you need an import permit to be able to receive in your country. And it's a little bit of a more difficult process. But merch, no problem. You can order right from the website. Only fans says, can't wait to order a stingray for you guys next week. Well, you better order soon because after Monday... Yeah, we're yeah. not going to be here. So if you want me to personally pack and pick your stingray, your order has to be in by Monday. Shane said, God bless you all. God bless you too, Shane. Michael Moltran, love your channel. You two are legends. Oh, thank you, man. We're still legends. Cool. Dude, I tell you, <laughs> why are we going to go home? We get treated... Better here by that. I get yelled at when I, I know. The minute I walk in the door, it's Dude, like I killed somebody. I know. <laughs> it's it's like oh, kids screaming, dog, wife. It's like ah, oh. they're probably watching. And they it think right we now. didn't. And they think we didn't do anything all day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Clayton Pedersen said, "I asked this earlier, but lost connection. Can you get any Atlantic stingrays since they can live in fresh or salt?" Um. We had them before, but they're so fragile. Like, majority of our customers lost them e fairly easy. So we'd rather not deal with it. Um, but they can live in a short period of time in fresh water. I didn't see any of them doing good in fresh water for a while. Kyle Brown, I want to set up a 500-gallon planted tank with one gulper. It will be epic. That sounds interesting. Normally, people set up a planted tank, and they get, like, all these little things that won't disrupt the plant. It'd be like it'd be like Shrek in a for, in a forest. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, camera the camera battery. battery thing! Oh uh. God, again! 
there should be no reason. It's plugged into the wall. So don't don't pay attention to that, guys. We're always having problems with this live. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Yep. When is the next detonoid and perch sale? I missed the last one. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking about doing a sale this weekend. Going over everything that we have and see what as much as we can ship out on Monday because Tuesday we're gone. But we did it already last week. We did, we did. But I know some people mess me like this guy here, King Tabs. He missed the opportunity. So we do one more time. Help them get their sale. Help us move some more fish. You know what fish we really need to move the the blue boats here. We have a lot of them. Yeah. But they come you know how they were like really crazy? They're better now. Mm -hmm. And they're actually like coming out to eat stuff really aggressively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my hand. I'm actually thinking about spreading them around into all the other tanks to help clean up all the uneaten food. Yeah. HHH Exotics. I got two baby pyra armadas, about three inches long. Having a 55 gallon with the title 75 filter and sponge filter. Also have a wave maker with aerator. Mixer. Any more recommendations? No, you looks pretty good. <clears throat> I say just keep them, keep feeding them because they're so thin at three inches that like you miss one food or two days of feeding, they, they get super skinny. So I'll just I would, keep feeding them. Um, I would be careful with that wave maker. Uh, if it's too much current in that tank. Oh, for this size, yeah. Yeah, because they're, they're babies and it's going to be hard for them to eat and chase to get, catch the food. And it's going to burn their metabolism more because they're constantly fighting the current. Um, J Tropics, when the six inch Savini is coming in, hopefully this weekend. <laughs> See, Paul S, he knows battery always says that. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, how long are we going for? Two weeks, right? Yeah, two weeks. Can you guys get all black Oscars? I don't think I've seen them. I've never seen them either. It, they might be mostly black with a touch of orange or red, but not completely jet black. No, I've never seen that. I had somebody ask me for blue ones. Like, that's not real. <laughs> it's funny. It's just like how when, when we went to see Fitz and I was asking about that blue koi, yeah. and the first thing he said, oh, no, that's fake. That's all, like, Photoshop doctored. And it really caught my attention. So I can't blame these people asking us for, like, Blue arowanas, and you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Remember, even the arapaima. Mm -hmm. Every, how many people are like, oh, look at the platinum arapaima. We're like, oh, it's fake, guys. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Did somebody call recent? Saying that his friend paid like 3000 for black for uh, platinum arapaima when it turned normal? Mm hmm. Yeah. Somebody called, says his friend <laughs> bought a platinum marijuana, Arapaima. a Arapaima. And the first thing we said is, from our experience, they're nearly impossible to find. And if you find one, it's going to be ridiculously expensive, like off the charts expensive. So we asked him how much he paid for it. He 3, said $3,000. No way that's real. There's Arapaimas out there that are lighter colored than normal. That's at best... What it is. But when you put them in a white tank, they turn. Yeah, so they get a little bit white. lighter. But, but they, they could also be. Um, remember, yes, it's remember possible. Remember the Jorginis that we saw? Yeah. But these were offered to us as well from South America. And I don't think they do that. They just look for the lighter color ones and then they do the white tank treatment to make them look lighter. So remember, they don't do that there. But there is Asian guys yes, there's, going there. Correct. So it could happen. But chances are this, this, because this all happened around the time close to when we were offered it too. So it has to be that batch that was offered out of South America. And people bought into it. Sellers might say, oh, well, you know, they'll get more platinum as you age. It's still young. But I think the price says it all. If somebody offers you a Ferrari, a Ferrari, you know, at a price of a Honda, are you going to be like, Oh, yeah, it's real. It's real. You know. And I think when this person bought it in his heart, he kind of knew too, you know. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, sometimes well, sellers. When I started, I, 
I fell for that trap. Yeah, you fell for it too. <laughs> I know who you sold it but to. I, I, <laughs> I didn't know. And mm-hmm. um, they weren't that expensive. Yeah. Correct. But it was gold air pimas and they weren't. They were for the longest time and then they turned normal. Cody Miller, Kevin Rod, how much would you say a three foot pie ball blue catfish, 30 pounds in weight, would be worth? You guys, you guys are only people I can really ask. I don't know any other expert. Send me a video, Cody. Um, I'll take a look at it. See, it, it all depends on the color, the markings, you know, how white it is, how black it is. But in the end, a fish is only worth what a Someone buyer is willing to pay. Yeah. You know? Like, so, what, what would you pay for that fish for that? Uh, I have to see it. I have to see the markings. Is it a pretty marking or is it just an ugly marking? You know, it, especially pie balls, they could really vary. You know how, like, the the albino marbled um, tiger chauvinos, right? I like the ones with light marking. You like the ones with heavy marking. Yeah. So, it depends. Robert Medley, Ray Rod, and Kevin, can you... Can the goldfish, gold wolffish, be in a moderate community monster tank or just by itself? I think so. They seem pretty friendly when we had them in the tanks here. Uh, actually, we should have got more. That's another one. Well, Four that, screwed it up right there. There's no screw up. I did it on purpose, okay? I didn't say it to him, but I'll say it to you guys. I did it on purpose because I'm trying to lighten the loads on our tank while we're gone and not have any major disasters. You should disasters. always have a little bit of everything. Guys, put your hands mm-hmm. up. On the comments here. If you agree that we should always have a little bit of everything in stock. Let's see. Yes, but you do not load up right before you leave. I didn't for say two load weeks. up, but we should have got at least one box. <laughs> Look, we're missing gold gold wolfish. We're missing uh gulpers. Somebody uh, asked about flower horn. We have flower horn. Do you still have small blue and green phantom plecos? Edwin Flores. We do. Mm-hmm. They're up on the website. Um, S- Stevie. From Facebook. Advice, please. If Stingray has parasites, getting skinny but eats. Eats well, and he doesn't want to hear anything else. He doesn't want to eat anything else but pellets. Hmm. What's your recommendation then? Internal parasite treatment? Well... Maybe you're not feeding often enough. I would think that. I, that's my first thought. But if you're feeding it every day and it's eating till its belly is full but still looks skinny, I don't think parasites can work that fast to consume all that food. You know what I mean? Um, it's not like smaller fish like tetras that have a tapeworm. And when they pull the tapeworm, it's like, almost like double the size of the fish after they uncoil the whole thing. But with the stingray, it's a much bigger animal. And just because you have one little worm in there, it's, I, I would, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's a puzzling question there. Yeah. Rachel Bussey, just hang a sign behind you guys that says camera battery is not dying. <laughs> we should. That's why I was laughing. Scal- oh, Scally whiskey. What are you eating? Got some rice and paprika chicken. No, salad, mofo. Are you coming? Are you coming August? Just kidding, man. We like Scally. It's cool. Sue Ann, member for 11 months. Thank you, Swan. I don't know why. I don't That's know why crazy. you guys do this. We started membership 11 months, months ago, ago, and we haven't done nothing, but we owe them. So the fight day, we're going to buy them drinks. We're going to no. take care of them. We're going to do a special members live from Asia. With them. Oh. oh members Asia. live from Asia. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. I promise you at least one. At least one. Okay. Or when they're here, we'll do a live with them here. So huh? they, they're in the live, but they can't watch themselves. No, but others can. <laughs> Fernando's Reef. Will you be selling saltwater fish in the future? We're going to be selling saltwater fish, brackish fish. Freshwater fish, tanks, any type of water fish, food, <laughs> salt, predatory fins, salt, anything, you name it. We're going to be selling everything. And if it's not, I don't want it at all. <laughs> if it's not predatory, if it's not predatory fins, I don't want it at all. Well, that was a good one too, but you, yeah. it was triple A quality. But they already know that. Okay, okay. So we're talking about the products that we're doing, right? So okay, okay, if it's not predatory fins, we don't want it. 
But I don't want to just be fresh. I want Stinger Biology there too, though. That's fine. Can we do? They know I'm here. They know I'm here. Look, no, but I also want to be there. So we can't let the name Stinger Biology die. Okay. Right? You guys agree with that, right? It is a really cool name. Is there a type of detonoid monster fish I could put with two Oscars, you know, 135, maybe a type of catfish? Drew Brown. Um, the NTT. NTT was okay. Any type of the detonoids yeah, you can put with an yeah. Oscar. As long as they're around the same size. Mm-hmm. Shane Prater, I want another thousand for albino race. Love my race. Another thousand gallons? You're looking for a thousand gallon tank? Uh, Did you want a thousand rays? <laughs> That's the first thing I saw. What? He wants another thousand albino rays. Imagine. Dennis Avedek. Hello from Sweden. What's up, buddy? What time is it over there right now? Probably, probably daytime, huh? Um, no, I think it's evening. Oh, look. Let's see. Cody sent us the, the catfish. You guys will see this. Let's see. You caught it yourself? Yo, it's pretty cool. He's got like black on his eyes, black on his face. We're gonna show you some koi fish that we got. Not gonna look like that. Yeah. It's pretty big. Uh, what do you think? What would you pay for it? Let's see if we're on the same level. Well, it depends. Am I buying it for us at the shop? Or am I buying it as a full retail hobbyist? Because, you for know. Shop. For the shop. 15? I was thinking too. Just because it's not a super rare fish. The, the colors are rare, but the fish is not. You know what I mean? Yeah. The colors are super cool. I like the colors. Um, but it's tough to ship something like that. You have to know how to ship. Just keep him enjoying it. And whenever you're getting tired of him, say, hey, Rod, here, send me my box. I'll ship it to you. We'll put it on display for you. Um, Gonzalo's Iris. We know you're going on your trip Tuesday. And I mentioned before, I don't know if, some of you guys weren't here. If you're looking for a rare fish, let us know. Send us an email with your phone number. We're going to make a list of customers that are looking for something super crazy. And as we see them in Asia, we're going to send videos to everybody. So you can buy right there on the spot. Because how it works, if we don't take it on the spot, it might be sold out quick, right? Yeah. So we're just going to go around. Hey, look, what we got here, buy it, ship it to our, our, our partner's facility there. And then when we come back, it gets shipped to us. So I'm talking about yellow detonoids or platinum marijuanas or what else? Give me some idea. Crazy stingrays? Yeah. Right? We're we already have somebody asking for stingrays. Um, we have somebody asking us to handpick giant parrots for them, the King Kong parrots. Um, I'm going to be looking for fish for uh, myself. Right? Um, there was one other person. I forgot what he wanted. Oh, he just sent me. Oh, oh, Lewis. He's like, if we find anything crazy, just send it to him. I have three people mm-hmm. that want videos. Joe Moskowski, Blueberry Oscars. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're real. Rambo said, "Please vlog your trip to China. We don't get to see." Outside of the shop, I know. But we will. We'll film and um, do some lives while we're there. Pull some reels, shorts. It's going to be a fun trip. We're going to dedicate this fit, this trip a lot for, for uh, video purposes. Oh, I didn't tell you. The hotel we're staying at doesn't have Wi-Fi. Where do you think we're going? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Rob Eric, Platinum, Great White. 
Yeah, can you imagine that? I, I think they probably exist. Dennis Avick said, I have been watching for many years. Nice to see how far you've come. Thank you. I think it was, if it wasn't for Faye Jai, we wouldn't be where we are. And if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be where we are. So together. Well, we, where we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having lunch in front of you guys. Salad. Salad. Bro, I had, I had egg whites and avocado, and now I'm having a salad. You're talking more, and you finish faster than me. I've got my big mouth. But thank you. Kyle Brown, my brother just got into a coring hobby. He decided he has only one quarry. So 20 gallon long with only cores. A 30 gallon long only costs 75 cores. Quarry, quarry, quarry. 200 on the way, only quarry stocking. They must love quarry then. But they're, they're pretty cool. There's a bunch of varieties too. So if you do different tanks for different breeds, uh, that's pretty cool. Eventually you should start breeding them. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's a shot on the heart for Kevin Gonzalez Iris. Uh-huh. Kevin, what happened to the old only albino? Osmani male stingray you had. Well, unfortunately, I lost her. I think we brought it back to the facility a little bit too soon when we weren't ready. But I do have offspring from her that will actually, they're, they're breeding already. Um, I, just, I just have to put them back into a breeding situation. So... I lost that original one, but I do have her offspring. So it's like a shot in the heart, but not all the way? Yeah. My chicken is so thick. (laughs) It's hard to bite. Uh, Rachel Bussey. What are the chances of you guys doing a video of acquiring fish shopping in local shops while you're on a trip? It's going to happen. We're going to do it. 100%. 100%. It's pretty crazy because last time we were there, we didn't really know much about YouTube. Like, I felt bad for Lisa. Like, we were walking. I'm like, yo, look at this, look at this, look at this. So we watched those videos. The camera is just like, it hurts your eyes. Unfortunately, I think the problem that we see is it's so many shops and there's going to be a lot of repetition, right? We're trying to do it so that it's entertaining for a video. Mm-hmm. But for a hobbyist, they're probably going to still want to see every single shop. So it's tough to give them Everything, Everything they want to, to yeah. experience what we're experiencing. We might have to cut the shops to different fish. And also, like, we cannot go in at all the shops. Mm-hmm. We had our crew there, and they would go way into the shop first and ask, hey, I have some people here from USA. Do you mind if they film your shop? And some people say no, and we'll film. And some people say, no, 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 just go. And we'll go to another place. Right? Yeah. But I think nowadays they're more open to it. Because back then, YouTube still wasn't as big in in in. In their eyes, you know what I mean? The social media whole thing. But I think now that they, they realize it is, I think they're more, but they, they might be more receptive. There. You know? But still, they have different types of social media. So I think they're more receptive to it now. Suen so said... Roberto, there's a lot of people watching, but not that many likes. You're going to make Swan upset. She's not going to be a member anymore. Swan's going to delete everyone's messages. Yeah. (laughs) That's true. You're going to get trigger happy. Man, 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 man. What's the best filtration system for 1,000 gallons? Filter man. Put your lips to work. Any filtration system that works. It depends how much money you want to spend into it. As long as you understand the principle of it and you're... Breaking down the ammonia and the nitrites so that the water is not toxic to the fish. Any system works. Uh, you can buy drum filters. You can buy canister filters. You can buy bead filters. You can make your own wet dry filters. You can use a, a garbage can and put bio balls in it. There's many ways of doing it. It's just how you want to get it done. Does that answer how it? How much you're trying to spend mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. clean you're trying to look. Yeah. So let's say for our... Monster tank that's, oh, my God, guys. I saw something that he showed me today. I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show. But he makes your heart beat. Like, instead of one beat, it's like five beats in one time. Makes sense? I don't remember what you heard. That. That. That we saw. That we're going to go see. I'm completely lost. Don't we have it to set up something there? Oh. uh -oh. (laughs) Uh-oh. I shouldn't have showed that to you. No, it makes my, my head just... 
they start thinking about all the stuff. Like I can only imagine anybody's face when they come in here and see that thing here. It's like, whoa, dude, this is another level right here. But well, okay. So my question was, what filtration we're we gonna put for our big tanks? I don't know yet. Um, it's probably gonna be a combination of everything: drum filter, beat filter, um, more the better, and a moving bed. It's gonna be a combination of all those three. So I think when it comes to filter, the more the better, right? Eyes Aquatics looking for so Mister Heroes. Chifiras, Chifiras, please, please bring it if you can. Been searching for years. Um, Mister Heroes, I don't even know what type of fish that is. I don't know either. You want to email us the, a picture of it or text? I don't have. We should bring the thing here so I can type. Uh, you can text it to our uh, office line. It's five six one four three zero seven nine four four, or you can email. Sanjay, <laughs> huh? Sanjay. You still have Altums, man. <laughs> Sanjay, the Altums sold on the first day. James, it's a big L for me that I can't visit your store. I love fish. Do you ship to India also watching your videos for so long? Thank you, James. Maybe one day you, uh, you'll visit here, or maybe one day we'll go to India and go catch like a giant monster <laughs> goonch. Um, monster aquarium. But hold on, hold on. Oh, but that we do, we do ship to India, but you have to have a business import license, and all the nine yard. So it's easier for you to go to a store there and ask them to import for you. Yeah, I don't want to read that. But it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, HHA Exotics. I'm just going to say, like, he, pro he probably didn't know, you know, but yeah. Price is too cheap. It's not going to be good. Yep. Rainbow, Rod and Kev, can we do a show and tell where your subscribers can share our tanks? Did we do that before? We, we did, did that when John was here. Yeah. That was great. I loved it. Maybe oh. we can have John come back just to do that episode for us. He would, too, because yeah. he misses it. John's actually a very good uh, musician, and um, he's teaching classes, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have the keyboard, but let me see. Let me find it. If you guys want to follow him on Instagram. Yeah, to, but... I hope you miss him. But to do th that type of stream, we need somebody behind the computer queuing it, bringing it up, starting, stopping, and all that stuff. So it's John Lofredo. L-O-F-F-R-E-D-O. If you guys want to give him a follow. He does really cool shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he does really good stuff with the keyboard. But I think he plays guitar. He plays anything. <clears throat> Don't worry about the battery. It's lying to you. King Tabs. I was going to get an Arapaima and Bermuda just to raise them, but nobody here at <laughs> AK can take of care something. of a fully grown one. We could play a prank on all the new viewers coming in. We'll bet you. If the battery dies, we'll give you a you know something. Yeah. And the, the battery never dies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bell N. Is that your old fish on the wall? Yeah, this is a replica of uh, the one that passed away in Florida. Uh, Paul Cafaro and a good friend of mine, Body, gave it to us. That's it. But eventually, it will be out there on the exhibit. Uh, James, you got Bucktooth Tetris? No. I told Fish I had to order, but I, I don't like that. I refuse man. to order. No. Why? Why you don't like them? Aren't they aggressive? They kill each other? No. You no. don't feed them, no. Uh, St. Jay said, can we have a member's life for the Brazil shipment? Almost 12 months members and only a few members' lives. You wouldn't even be here. It's all going to be me. <laughs> the next, not the next one, but after. Right? Because I'm not going to be here this weekend and it's coming this weekend. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, Sanjay, this one's probably going to have to be a video because I'm going to be by myself. But definitely, um, I think you guys are going to, we're going to try to do as much member lives out of Asia that we can. Your Aquarium Place. Hey, what's up, guys? Love your channel and watch your videos. 
all the time. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Blitz, four ninety nine. That's your cheeseburger for the day. Thank you, Blitz. <laughs> I just got a black diamond two months ago. How often should I be doing water changes? I have a sixteen hundred gallon UV canister filter and an FX four, as well as an FX six. I think he put an extra zero. <laughs> what do you think? Is it sixteen hundred gallon or if he's only running an FX four and an FX six on a sixteen hundred gallon tank? How is that possible? But it's only one fish. But still. 1600 that's half the size of yeah yeah i think it's maybe meant 160 or 150 gallon so blitz if you want to ask our question your question again yeah let us know but thank you (laughs) all right doug you want to bet the battery's gonna die (laughs) hh exotic goliath tiger fish uh vitatas we have it's here they actually Nice little size with uh, Lenny Tarpons as well if you want to grow a batch of them. Fogels, you guys, if you want peacocks, you have to jump in on this quick because I don't know how long they'll last. The silver monos are back in, and I can't wait for them to, like, ah, they look pretty cool. We should grow some too. Yeah. I saw adult pictures of the breeders or even video, and they are silver. They're, like, grayish color. So they're going to be here. Uh, Calberry Azul. What else? What did I say earlier? Oh, and there's a hybrid. Really cool hybrid. I don't know what it's hybridized with, but I'll find out. <clears throat> What's the biggest freshwater fish you can keep in a 20-gallon tank? Corridor? <laughs> An angel? Yeah, Just angel enough. fish. Angel's okay. Rainbow fish. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of all the different types of tetras. But the biggest old fish. A discus, African cichlids, and that's what. All right. Skylar, I'm looking into getting some bichers. What size tank you recommending? Depends what's off for their full life. Probably 200 plus. Yeah, but don't bichers grow really, really slow? But I'm talking full life. It depends also if they're feeding a lot. And they can probably outlive you, right? They're dinosaurs, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you're getting a little one, then you can grow small, you know, 20, 40, 80, and then you go up. Yeah, I think it, it, it grows up to a certain point, and then it really slows down the growth. It takes a lot to get them big. That's why big size bikers are so expensive. Jordan Ocampo, you guys looking forward to see everybody in August. Rod wins. Yeah, my boy. Dude, I think we're so behind on these messages. Should I just go straight down? All right, I'm going to go scan, straight down. Just scan through. There could be some important ones. Just You don't have to read every single one. Just scan through. Scally Whiskey. Rod, I'm going to be there in August, bro. Got my table. Tell Fejai me and my wife are sleeping over his house. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't mind, man. All right. You know what uh, you got to bring, right? Chicken nuggets. Oh. Um... Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't I matter. Forgot. Just continue where you are. Just I forgot. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. My grandpa's for a living. He caught and called us. Also, Cody Miller, your grandpa fished for a living and he caught it and called you. That's pretty cool, though. I think you should make more videos of him. It's a very cool fish. Yeah, make videos ca- fishing and catching him. Cool. See, Rachel Bussey said, I agree. Stingray biology cannot die. I constantly look back on videos to refresh and all the knowledge chicken nuggets. <laughs> Coming back. It's going to come back. Camera's not dying, I promise. I promise. What the hell are your fools eating? Salad, fool. Fool's spelled wrong. Yeah, he's got to come down 20 pounds, right? Yes. Dude, why does it keep going up when I'm, like, going it down? Oh, then just scroll. Yeah, that's it. Sorry if I miss any. I'm just straight down right now. I can see everything as you guys see it. All right, the super chat. Curtis Shineman, four ninety nine. Thank you. No question. Now there's nice no more questions. You scrolled all the way down. No, no. I'm saying he. He sent oh. money without any. Oh, question. okay. Well, uh, thank you for that. Rainbow, you guys have a platinum fly river turtle. What's a natural birth or been injected to give birth to, to a platinum? No, they come out white. Those little turtles, but they're not many available. They're super rare.
Ah, Theory Oak Town. <laughs> Theory Oak Town. Hello, I'm a fan, and I was curious on what you guys' favorite cichlid in the hobby to keep. I like mitre cichlids. Cichlids. I like, I like flower horns, but that's not a natural cichlid. That's a man-made cichlid. Um, in terms of naturals, I've always liked viejas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, I got, I got a funny question here. Okay. Uh, Lenny Rivera. Rod, what's your favorite Florida employee? Um, I think it was Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, even though he was like a little slow sometimes. What he was, about he drove two hours to get there and two hours to go home every single day? What about the other guy? I forgot his name. Who? Lenny? Not Lenny. The other one. Um the one that had to go back to take care of his mom from he's from per, per, was it Peru? Oh Lewis. 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 I like Lewis. Lewis is fun too. Lenny is probably the third one. But we only had three employees. So yeah. Lenny was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Linguini, ah, Linguini's, Linguini's. Yeah, he was only there for a little. He bit. was an employee. He's a friend. Linguini's a friend. Yeah, he started as a friend, so he's a friend. Lenny, Lenny, um, is one of the best firemen in Boca Raton, Florida, but he's a little, a little weird sometimes. Dude, there was days where I would come into work and he would just finish the shift at the fire department, mm -hmm. and like car crash, people died. Yeah. And to him, it was like nothing. I come in, and he's like, hey, how was your night? He's like, oh, I saw brains all over the floor. I'm like, dude, you just ruined my, my morning. <laughs> Jex Ober Holzer. Do you guys ship worldwide? We do, but you have to have an import permit to be able to receive it. Uh, Blitz said it's a 1,600 gallon, so 1,600. He changed twice a week, so he's right. What was the question? I'm screwed up. There was no question. Oh, who was your favorite Florida employee? No, 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 this guy. Blitz. Remember? Oh. <laughs> and you asked, oh, it's probably It's old. a 1600 gallon UV canister filter attached to a FX4, oh. then a FX6 on 100. 100 gallon Did you plant. see 100 gallon? No. No, maybe he left on 100 gallon. So that should be plenty. Yeah, but he's asking how. I, no matter what, you. Sh I think. Let's see, I change water twice a week. I think twice a week is good. What percentage are you doing? Um, if the ray is big, then twice a week is good. Just up the percentage to at least like, you know, from 30, 40 to 50% as the fish is getting bigger and bigger. You need to increase the water changes as he's eating more and producing more waste. Brian Jenny said the old man gig at the, at the Florida location was great. Remember the, oh, the, yeah, yeah. that? That was funny. The farting guy? Yeah, that Chinese was really guy. funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think another one that I like every time I watch, I cry laughing is when, um, we fed the, the eel, not the eel, the lungfish. Mm. Oh man. Every time, every time when I see Lenny jumping and screaming and crying, I love it. <laughs> Will you guys get buck tooth Tetris? If you pre-order them, Mauricio, Fiji is going to have to do it. So. We should, you know what? We should, we should have a pre-order button on the website. Okay. What if he pre-orders one? <laughs> then you get... <laughs> and I have to bring in 100. Yeah. It's tough. Jacob Small, can you get long tail Oscars? Yes. We'll try to get it when we come back. Scully has one for you. Jordan said he doesn't even know who Lewis is. Lewis came before, he was there before you. Is that the doorbell? Sounded like, is it Lewis? Who's here? <laughs> oh. What? It's for them? Yeah. But they're not here. I know. King Tabs, how come no more big cichlids like Jaguars and Ovi? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. I think Jags, if they come from Florida, it's okay. But if you import Jags at a big size, they're going to cost too much money. Scally Whiskey. Rod, are you going to stick to your diet on the trip? Yes, brother. I already told him. Vegetables and chicken. No noodles, right? Did I say that? No noodles, no rice. All right, Scally. 
I know where you're on, we're on your face. question. He's going to come back 20 pounds less because he's not going to enjoy the food, right? Well, last last time, time you went, it was hard for you. Yeah, to, I was just eating adjust, noodles like, all the time, and I gained 20 pounds more. You gained more. pounds? But Remember, really, all we you, did was you, noodles. Yeah, but you didn't really enjoy a lot of there the food There was one either. chicken. There was one chicken. Talk about yeah. that chicken. Let's no, talk that, about that chicken. I'm going to have that chicken every oh, night. Oh, that chicken's so good. Usually, like, I didn't like the chicken there because when they serve it to you, they serve with the chicken. The guy's inside? I let the guy in. They serve with the chicken head facing you. So, like, you're about to eat. It's looking at you like this. So, I always flip the little chicken head the other way. But, and it was a little rubbery. But this one particular place, the chicken was so good. Even Lisa was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll eat this all day. When you're hungry enough. It's like being in the wild. You're going to tear it apart. <laughs> yep. Then he said, oh, when I almost lost my finger to the lungfish. I, I, I was saying, I love that. was one of my favorite videos. <laughs> but the Florida crew, crew man, if I, if I could bring him up here, I would. I think even Faye Jai would would have uh, enjoyed them. Oh, uh, what's the recommended tank size for detonoid in a Chinese perch? Um, I'm just gonna assume you have the biggest type of detonoid, which is the Siamese tiger. Okay, let's so just go anything big, big. other than that, your requirements, you're good and covered. The biggest detonoid I've seen was like 24 inches, right? 24 inches. That's about right. Yeah, and they're like this high. Um. Just just today, I saw a, a, a video on, uh, was it TikTok or Instagram, of a Chinese perch, a little kid feeding it, and the Chinese perch was huge. Oh, I saw that the other day, too. I didn't know they got that big. Yeah. That, and you know what I was thinking? What our albino one, when it gets that big, it's going to be it amazing. Dope, yeah. So that being said, if you're just going to keep one fish by itself, at least 150, 200 gallon, just that, for that one fish. With 150, can they even turn around? Um, as long as the tank's at least two feet wide. Because they don't really swim much. They're, they're no, just, they just sit, they just eat, yeah. and look at you, and beg, wait to be fed. Uh, they, yeah, it's a perch. It sits there. Cody Miller said he's trying to breed the, the pie ball. He's got, we have two in a two-acre pond. Maybe put them in a smaller smaller pond so to see if they'll breed. But yeah, yeah, once you breed them, let us know. We'll, we'll definitely buy some for you. I, if you guys want to be more successful, I mean, the size of the pond is great. But what are the odds they get, they're going to even find each other in such a large pond? And if you have other catfish in there as well, you're not isolating it. Keep those two together, and the magic will happen. Lenny, you're talking about a ride that we did to Naples. I don't remember that ride, bro. I don't remember what we did. He was probably in the back. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We'll be getting gold Roseline barbs back in stock. That's New York City. Uh, it's it's a fish that I like to I like to carry, but what we've noticed is that they come in all gold color, and with stress or other environmental factors, they start to pick up some grayish. And um, my I was just having concerns that customers weren't going to be happy with it, but maybe in their tanks in a planted aquarium, Real they're bad. they're happy and they, they come back. Druna said, make a video of Kevin putting his finger in an electric eel tank. I don't think he would do that. I'll put it in the tank, but I'll not touch the eel. <laughs> Be more specific, Jordan. <laughs> See? I have Ricky May said, I have a five, six-inch Atlantic tarp when I bought the frozen feeder gobies from you guys, but he refused to take any interest in it. Eats live feeders and frozen blood worms. Any advice? Stop the, the live. Stop the live no matter what. And then when he's hungry, he'll eat. Trust me. And any any fish, if they eat live, they're not going to want frozen, no matter what the frozen food is. But once you cut that off and he's no longer eating live and he's going to be hungry, he will eat the frozen. But it's weird, though. He eats frozen bloodworms, though. Right? Um, usually when we get, like, the tarpons that we just got in, I gave them Viber Bites. Some took it. Some didn't take it. Some takes it and spits it out. I gave right, him but frozen I, I'm blood talking about like yeah, yeah. he's feeding live. So, so yeah, so yeah. Obviously, you're gonna, he's gonna prefer live. 
Well, yeah, if I give you steak or I give you cereal, which are you going to pick? <laughs> Lenny said he thinks he would have killed Jordan first and then him. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> what about if it was Fadi, Lenny, and Jordan? You can't put them together because no work would get done. But who would we kill first? Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never really spent much time with Lenny, so I can't say. Um, you spend Fadi's, time Fadi's annoying. <laughs> right? He talks a lot nonstop. Jordan is just kind of there. <laughs> right? I mean, is it right? or? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty right. Yeah. Jordan's just there. <laughs> Fadi's annoying. Watch, you're going to get a call from Fadi. Uh, not annoying, but he talks a lot. He nonstop talks. <sighs> it's like when it's quiet and he has nothing else, he'll just start, make up something to talk just so that it's not quiet. Um, you want to close that door, bro? We should cut it soon. I gotta what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. Past six. Oh, six or four. All right, only four more. We missed Past a bunch of questions. Time. Um, Scally Whiskey, good night, brother. Thank you for the safe trip. Any any other fish you're looking to acquire for your display tank? I think anything rare or crazy, we're definitely gonna try to look into it. Are you going? You guys going to get Vieja Argentia? Cichlids. We used to get them. Yeah, right? we used to get them. They haven't been available lately, so I don't know uh, what's up with that. What's the best place to get wood and rocks for an aquarium? I, I don't know. Online? I don't know. If you wait, soon. We're going to have it here. Oh. <laughs> Jordan just exists. And overflows tanks. <laughs> uh do we sell piranha? No, we don't. Unfortunately, they're illegal here in New York. Maybe we can get a permit to exhibit them. What do you think? It's possible, right? yeah. When will you get clown loaches again? Uh, Cindy, we have some. We had some bigger ones, and, and they sold. But hopefully after this trip, on the next uh, shipment, we'll get them again. Were you guys ever interested in reptiles? Mm. Not to keep. I, I I love them. I think they're great, but I don't never had a desire to keep a snake or a lizard. Have you? No, not at all. I would love to keep a lion. Mensing, do you want any guppies? I'm looking to clear out almost all my guppies. Do you want any guppies? Well, he's he brought us guppies last time. I mean, you can just bring it by if you want to unload them. It's not a problem. Whips world. I raised a silver arrow up to nearly thirty inches nice. on my first try. And she'd be with us today. Had and not, and eventually killed her. That said, I do know if I want to subscribe to blow or any diseases. So, how did you kill her? How did she die? I guess it must be from blow or other diseases. And she, had I not, in a, she, he, he, he killed it by accident. Well, of course, any, everyone kills their fish by accident. Yeah, some do it for, for, but, for fun. I mean, bloat or other diseases, I think all fish are susceptible to it is if you don't keep your tank clean. You know, sometimes people just take for granted, oh, it was doing well, doing so great, eating, and all of a sudden, things happen. It's because you were feeding it so well, it was doing so well, and your water got dirty faster, and then it just yeah, we see that the here. Way. We see that here at the shop. Yeah, he left the filtration uh, off. Man, things going water change. to China in May. Well, well, Should have come with us, man. Uh, six hundred three live and said, Kevin, we'll we be importing any more of the specialty bread guppies again. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna try to see while we're there, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna film stingrays, guppies, uh, plow horns, rare fish. We're gonna. It's gonna be a great trip. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot, and we'll do some stuff for the members as well. All right, so stay tuned. Most likely, we'll do one more sale for this weekend to empty out more for the girls, right? The last fish they have here to take care of it, then they can focus on the race. They can focus on, on the stuff we have growing out. And um, we're going to still be operating with everything we have. We have Nicole, Jamie, Anthony. They're great people. 
we're going to keep this place running. And we'll see you guys when we come back. So not next week, can we do it uh, live on Thursday? Uh, uh, Thursday live? Thursday? Which, can which? we do a live from Thursday? That's what, <laughs> what do you mean from Thursday? Can, the- can we do a Thursday live from China? That's what uh, I'm okay. you, you, like, um, Yeah, we can. We just have to keep in mind the time difference. It, oh, yeah. It might be like 5 a.m. <laughs> you want to do it? 5 a.m.? No, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe know. post it and announce it. You know, well, we pick a time that's convenient because of the time difference. China Live, that's pretty cool. Um, right. yeah, sounds good. If you guys have any questions about the trip or any fish that we have in stock, feel free to let us know. And uh, <laughs> Whips World, you need to work on your fight poster stance, Rod. Get those hands up. It's just for the picture, bro. It's just for the picture. It's okay. But um. Yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the first 10 minutes that we had the little interruption. But, you know, it was a very successful one hour of talk. All right. We still have a lot of things to do, and I got a really early flight. So let's call it. And Thanks I'll see you guys we'll see you from guys China. From, yeah, pretty much from China. Uh, uh-oh. You got to get closer. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.